We are here today at St. Madeline Sophie Center to change your perception of people with developmental disabilities through our curriculum and wonderful programs. Betsy is a natural swimmer. She has a beautiful daughter and she's here at St. Mads. They have given her so much in swimming, the coaches and, and praised her, and it, well, this natural ability has just come out in her. And they've done so much for her. We love it here. And they've enabled me to make this program grow and be a wonderful program for both the students here at St. Madeline's as well as bringing the public in to enjoy our programs. She pushes me, but she pushes me the right way to do it the way it needs to be done for my world games that's coming up. And Betsy is working out right now, uh, working on her freestyle. She's been training very hard all year long. Betsy was just recently at Special Olympics Summer Games, and it was a very good practice for me for the upcoming World Games. And while Betsy was at Summer Games, she did get up on the podium and receive a silver medal for her 50 freestyle. And the silver medal goes to Betsy Corey. And St. Madeline supported Betsy all the way from local swim meets here in San Diego, as well as all the way to Long Beach for Summer Games. And continues to support Betsy as she heads to World Games the end of July. Well, here at St. Madeline's, there is nothing but love. And Betsy's always talking about coach this and coach that, and I did this and I did that. But they give her so much praise and thanks. Betsy then went on to the World Games in LA and represented St. Madeline Sophie's Triton team and came home with many medals and met swimming superstar Michael Phelps. That was her dream come true. I wouldn't have been able to do it without St. Madeline's and my coaches here. You think the pool is still and quiet right now, but wait till our students get in the pool for their programming, such as water safety, learn to swim, and exercise and aquatics. Well, St. Madeline's is a beautiful place, and they are producing Shrek, and Bessie loves it. She's eating it up. <laughs> I am so excited today. I get to see Shrek, a play the students at St. Madeline's Sophie Center is putting on. People with developmental disabilities. It's amazing and I'm so excited for them. They've all worked so hard to put on this play. Last year we did the performance of Grease and this program has really grown. St. Maddie's is really stepping it up this year. Costumes, we have projections, lighting, we're in a bigger theater, and we have a bigger cast, and it's all around a great time. It's a heartwarming experience seeing them express themselves on stage. They've been rehearsing for about six months to put on this production, and all the work has come together, and they're shining tonight on stage. The audience is enjoying it. It's all around a good time. Forget the map, forget the guy. Before you know it, you'll make five fifty. I'm very excited. I'm glad my mom's here today to see me perform. And this is one of my good friends that I've gotten to know through Shrek. <laughs> Beautiful. It was beautiful. It was just a beautiful production. I'm so happy to see all of them. Betsy was thrilled to death. I like it. Good dog, you like it, that show. Yeah. Yeah, cool. This is so much fun. We have a great time. She loves to perform, and this gives an opportunity to be on stage. And the camaraderie with her friends is just wonderful. It was really cool. Everybody can do art, but this is special art done by special people that are capable of doing beautiful projects that can be sold here at Sophie's Gallery. 
and people with developmental disabilities can do art. All the art is for sale here, and the students earn a paycheck and get part of the profit for the projects they made. We do painting, weaving, woodwork, fusion glass, jewelry, you name it, we do it. I'm a believer in the students of St. Madeline's Sophie Center. People with developmental disabilities, their talents, how happy they are, and hopefully today we've changed your perception by showing you some of our programs here. Without our donors, we would not be able to have the wonderful and amazing programs here at St. Madeline's Sophie Center.